Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more, there are many interesting topics there, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of <laughs> the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. In the United States, from the beginning to the middle of the last century, 19th century buildings were demolished en masse, and sometimes these buildings were only a couple of decades old. What was wrong with them? There is no official answer of course, there are all kinds of vague motives such as impracticality, and most often no clear reasons were not at all. What do these buildings have in common? First, an architectural style that combines elements of different eras, in particular, antiquity and the Gothic. Secondly, the scale of the buildings, most of them were simply Cyclopean, such as Pennsylvania Station in New York City. Third, not explicit, but in my opinion, which clarifies the reasons for the mass demolition of these buildings, namely that there were certain technologies, or symbols and images in the interiors and exterior decor which were forbidden in the New World. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update and, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. An incunabula, is a term of Latin origin used by our modern historians to refer to any books that were printed before the year 1500. The vast majority of all texts in the Middle Ages were written in Latin, and even the next most popular language being German, only takes a mere 10%. For two centuries, our modern-day historians have relentlessly shilled the idea that 2000 years ago there was an Iron Age Mediterranean Empire of Latin-speaking toga-wearing Greco-Romans, backed by countless documents and writings in Latin text. We are told that by around the year 800 is when the Latin language stopped being spoken, so, any claim that the Roman Empire existed until 200 years ago, or even to this day, should sound absolutely fictitious, assuming their language died 1200 years ago. What is overlooked is the fact that there is absolutely nothing to indicate that Latin was ever spoken in Rome. All studies of the Roman Empire start off by assuming that Latin was the language not only spoken and written by Roman elites, but also by Roman peasants, and from that assumption, we will never get anywhere with uncovering the true history. The reality is that Latin was merely a language for the elites. The Roman Empire occupied the entirety of Europe, there was no Roman culture nor Roman assimilation into such culture. What we call Rome was in fact the New World Order, all nations under Rome were free to speak their own languages, nothing was forced upon the peasants. If you study the monarchies of Europe's Middle Ages, you will discover that this is in fact one empire subordinated to many rulers and provinces. If you still don't believe what I am telling you in regards to the fabrication of Roman history, here's a wall from ancient Rome with Etruscan graffiti on it. If we are to believe mainstream Masonic Scalurgian chronological history, this graffiti should be absolutely impossible to exist. It is completely incompatible with any timelines given by our modern historians. Of course when you point out such inconsistencies to them, they like to ignore it and keep it unanswered. Small things like this can absolutely destroy their narrative of history. The Roman Empire still rules our realm to this day.
Another article of Giants Found, coming from the New York Times in 1902. Discovered in New Mexico. Giant Skeletons Found. Archaeologists to send expedition to explore graveyards in New Mexico, where bodies were unearthed. Los Angeles, California, February 10, 1902. Owing to the discovery of the remains of a race of giants in Guadalupe, New Mexico, antiquarians and archaeologists are preparing an expedition further to explore that region. This determination is based on the excitement that exists among the people of a scope of country near Mesa Rico, about 200 miles southeast of Las Vegas, where an old burial ground has been discovered that has yielded skeletons of enormous size. Luciana Quintana, on whose ranch the ancient burial plot is located, discovered two stones that bore curious inscriptions, and beneath these, were found in shallow excavations, the bones of a frame that could not have been less than 12 feet in length. The man who opened the grave say the forearm was 4 feet long, and that in a well-preserved jaw, the lower teeth ranged from the size of a hickory nut to that of the largest walnut in size. The chest of the being is reported as having a circumference of seven feet. Quintana, who has uncovered many other burial places, expresses the opinion that perhaps thousands of skeletons of a race of giants long extinct will be found. This supposition is based on the traditions handed down from the early Spanish invasion that have detailed knowledge of the existence of a race of giants that inhabited the plains of what now is eastern New Mexico. Indian legends and carvings, also in the same section indicate the existence of such a race. Any follow-up on this has gone unreported. What do you think? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.